In the crypto community, many alternative layer one chains are often referred to as the Ethereum killers, with Cardano being no exception. But what makes Cardano unique? How does Cardano differ from Ethereum? Both are smart contract platforms that enable users to build decentralized applications on their networks. The key difference, however, lies in how the two platforms go about implementing their functions. So, well, let's cover all of this in this video where we will look at five key differences between Cardano and Ethereum. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's start with the consensus mechanism. While the current version of Ethereum uses the proof of work consensus mechanism, which is also used by Bitcoin, Cardano uses proof of stake. A proof of work consensus mechanism works through thousands of computers, constantly performing vast amounts of trial and error computations all over the world to validate transactions. However, the more people use Ethereum, the higher the number of transactions to verify, resulting in the first scalability issue, slower transaction speeds. Then, as a result, users are forced to pay high gas fees for their transactions to verify faster than all other transactions waiting in line. Now also, as the network grows and more miners join the network, more electricity is required to perform mining computations, resulting in yet another scalability issue, which is high energy consumption. Slower transaction speeds, high gas fees, and high energy consumption all pose an impending scalability crisis, which Cardano seeks to solve with its proof of stake consensus mechanism. So Cardano is the first blockchain to introduce an academic and peer reviewed proof of stake consensus mechanism that is more secure than proof of work and will be highly scalable in the future. A proof of stake mechanism involves a group of cryptocurrency owners who are in charge of validating network transactions. Now, this group is chosen based on the number of cryptocurrencies they stake over a specified time period. Once a validator is chosen, they will have the opportunity to receive a reward in the form of the network's native token in exchange for their efforts at securing the blockchain. Now, Cardano's proof of stake consensus mechanism handles more transactions per second. It consumes less energy and can scale more easily compared to Ethereum's proof of work, which are among the reasons why Ethereum plans to transition to a proof of stake model in the upcoming merge upgrade, which is estimated to be implemented by the end of 2022. So both Cardano and Ethereum have similar features in terms of functionality and applications. Ethereum has its own native cryptocurrency called Ether, which you use to perform transactions on the network. Cardano, on the other hand, uses its native token ADA to perform transactions. Both Cardano and Ethereum allow the creation of decentralized applications through smart contracts. So then, as I said earlier, Cardano has much faster transaction speeds than Ethereum. Cardano can process approximately 250 transactions per second. This is a lot more than Ethereum's 12 to 15 transactions per second. With its Hydra scaling solution, Cardano could process up to 1 million transactions per second in the near future. On the other hand, Ethereum is looking at 100,000 transactions per second after the completion of a series of planned upgrades for the network. Okay, then let's talk about the DAP ecosystem. So a metric which we can use to evaluate the popularity of a blockchain is its DAP ecosystem, which comprises wallets, DeFi, NFTs, gaming, and lots more. So let's compare the Ethereum and Cardano ecosystems. Okay, let's start with Ethereum. So Ethereum being the first blockchain to introduce smart contracts is said to have a first mover advantage and the largest network effects. 
So it has the largest developer base and the most dApps built on top of it. So as a result, Ethereum is currently the market leader in terms of decentralized applications, daily exchange volume and application utilization when compared to other networks. Okay, so then on the other hand, we have Cardano, which falls far behind Ethereum, even though Cardano offers greater scalability and launched pretty shortly after Ethereum, it wasn't until September 2021 that its smart contract functionalities went live. So Cardano's dApp ecosystem appears to be in its early stages. For example, let's compare DeFi applications on Cardano versus Ethereum, as they're typically the first decentralized apps to spring up to form the backbone of any ecosystem. So although not exhausted, DeFi Llama lists 501 DeFi dApps on Ethereum, while only 12 on Cardano. So kind of giving us a sense of the difference in size between the two ecosystems. And this is not even looking at the number of NFT collections, DAOs or other applications within the two ecosystems as well. Now, noticeably, however, Cardano has prioritized financial inclusion in developing countries with several alliances with African governments to facilitate access to DeFi services including collaborations with Tanzania and the European Business University of Luxembourg to support African students. Now, that said, many new Layer 1 chains have sprung up over the past year or so, which have taken up some of Ethereum's market share. So only time will tell if Cardano becomes another blockchain to do so. Okay, so then let's take a look at scalability. So in terms of scalability, Cardano outperforms the current version of Ethereum. The platform reduces gas costs, conserves energy, and has faster transaction times. However, Ethereum has had a notable head start in the smart contract craze, which has helped the network achieve a larger market cap and become the leader in the dApps market space. Currently, layer twos and sidechains are also mushrooming in order to deal with its scalability issues. Its future upgrades will also make it able to compete better in terms of scalability and energy efficiency. So for Cardano to be a significant contender, it has a lot of catching up to do. Well, that wraps it up for what you should know about Cardano versus Ethereum. So, which blockchain do you think will dominate the dApps market in the future? Well, I'd love to know, so leave it in the comments below. Also, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for future alpha. See ya!